What is a 401k rollover and should you consider doing one? These are the questions we're going to be answering in today's video. My name is Spencer Ford, Certified Financial Planner with Conservative Financial Solutions, and thank you for watching this video. Do you have a 401k or employer-sponsored plan with a previous employer? It doesn't have to be limited to 401ks either. Maybe you worked for a hospital that had a 403b plan or a government entity that had a thrift savings plan or TSP, or maybe you're over the age of 59 and a half. These two events, a retirement plan with a previous employer or obtaining the age of 59 and a half are called triggering events. And if this is you, you may have additional options when it comes to your employer sponsored plans. And that may mean being able to roll it over into an IRA that's now in your care, custody and control. And if done correctly, this can be, can be a completely tax neutral event, meaning that you owe no tax on the transaction. So why would you choose to do a rollover? Well, there's a few reasons why you would choose to do that. But before we get into those reasons, I need to tell you a couple of things. Number one is, you have the option to leave your 401k or employer sponsored plan with the previous employer. You also have the option to move that plan from the previous employer to your current employer. You can cash out the plan, which would be a, a taxable event for you, or you can do a rollover into an IRA, which is what we're talking about today. So when it comes down to those reasons why you might choose the rollover option, the number one reason would be more investment choices. So most likely in your employer sponsored plan, there's around 20 to 30 pre-selected investment choices for you to choose from. And this is, this is a significant limitation because there's a lot more investment options in the world than just the 20 to 30 options that they provide you in your 401k. And by moving that money from the 401k, to an IRA, you now have the option to have a more tailored investment plan that is, that is more in line with your goals and objectives. And especially given the fact where we are in our current economic environment, you're gonna to want to be able to have those options for a more tailored plan. The second reason would be easier access to your money. If you wanna make it take a distribution from your employer plan, you either need to go online and submit a request or call the 800 number and fight your way through the automated teller in order to reach a live person. This is something that I do all day, every day with families, and sometimes it takes well over 45 minutes just to get to a live person to do a distribution. So it's just really frustrating to try and get money out of a 401k plan if you need it quickly. So already taking that step to move it from the employer sponsored plan into an IRA just can make it easier for you to get your money in the future. The third reason would be tax savings. So most 401k plans are not set up for you to be able to do Roth conversions. And this can be a tremendous tax saving strategy and tax planning strategy along with an estate planning strategy. So in our opinion, we believe taxes are going up in the future. We believe that these are some of the lowest tax rates we're ever going to see for the rest of our lives. In fact, we're in historically low tax rates right now. So a Roth conversion is when you voluntarily pay the tax from your IRA so you can transition those funds to a Roth IRA where they then grow tax free. Now, when it comes to doing that Roth conversion, you are going to want to look at your individual specific situation and then also seek the advice of a tax professional. The fourth reason why you would choose to do a rollover from your employer sponsored plan to an IRA is maybe something along the lines of a charitable distribution or qualified charitable distribution known as a QCD. You actually can't do a QCD or qualified charitable distribution from an employer sponsored plan. You have to do that from an IRA. And a QCD is when you take money directly from your IRA and give it to the charitable organization of your choice. By doing so, you don't have to pay tax on that distribution, nor does the charitable organization have to pay tax on that distribution either. You do have to be over the age of 70 and a half or 70 and a half and above in order to take advantage of that, but you cannot do that inside of an employer sponsored plan. And there are other tax advantages and things of that nature when it comes to putting the money in an IRA. So that's just one example. A fifth reason why you might choose to roll over your funds from 
a 401k to an IRA is personalized advice and planning. So we kind of mentioned that in option number one with having more access to more choices so you can have a tailored plan. But when you roll over your 401k or employer sponsored plan, so it could be a 403b or TSP again, then you have the option to work with a financial professional who's gonna help you build a plan, come alongside you and make sure that that plan is in a position to help you achieve your goals, your financial objecti object objectives, and also be able to do some tax planning and things of that nature. And then the sixth reason why you would choose to do a rollover from an employer-sponsored plan to an IRA that's in your care, custody, and control is simplicity. And that's really just one through five all rolled into one. So most families are looking for help when it comes to their employer-sponsored plans and not always because they don't fully understand, although that can be the case. Another reason is they don't have the time to dedicate to it. Simplifying your finances through a rollover to an IRA and having a personal relationship with an advisor can make all the difference in the world. So thank you for watching this video. And then are you considering doing a rollover to an IRA from an employer-sponsored plan? If you are, please let us know. We'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you.